you have to fight and say what you feel and let the chips fall where they may. Because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. And it's only so much of these stories. Recently, there's been a trend of exposing people for their shady crimes in Hollywood. And no one has it worse than Diddy. The allegations against him shook the entire industry as fans found themselves questioning what things were really like behind the scenes. Naturally, a lot of folks have been revisiting the past to see what else they missed, and it seems like Jay-Z may have been hiding under all our noses the entire time. Many believe Diddy wasn't a one-man army. Instead, he had an entire group, and R. Kelly and Jay-Z were a part of it as well. I mean, why else would Jay-Z hang out with them? He definitely had something in common with them. Well, just when fans were struggling to find the answers, Ice Q stepped up. The rapper has finally broken his silence over the entire drama, talking about the real reason why Jay-Z was close to R. Kelly and Diddy and fans don't like it. Just what happened? What exactly did Ice Cube say? What was the reason behind Jay-Z being BFS with Diddy and R. Kelly? Welcome back to Celebrity Circle, where we'll talk about how Ice Cube uncovered disturbing details about why Jay-Z was close to R. Kelly and Diddy. But before we give you guys the tea, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Jay-Z and Diddy have been best buds in the business since forever. However, things are different these days. The record executive had to face major backlash from fans and the public after Cassie exposed him. The R&B singer lit the path for more of Diddy's victims to step up and expose him for the man he truly was. The lawsuits and allegations carried a heavy price for the bad boy CEO, as in the aftermath, Jay-Z made the smart move of distancing himself from Diddy and it's obvious why. He didn't want to end up in the same waters as him. So maybe their friendship wasn't all that solid after all. And he kind of did the same thing with R. Kelly. We really don't want to give away too much of the show because we want, we want people to really be genuinely in, in shock and awe. We doing a shock and awe campaign. Yeah, because we've been working real hard. R. Kelly, who was once the king of the music industry, had the biggest downfall in history. Before the curtains closed on the rapper, Jay-Z and R. Kelly were extremely close back in the day. The two hung out at the same clubs, same parties, and had the same taste in women. Safe to say, the two were giving major best friend goals. However, R. Kelly was proven guilty of some nasty allegations and sentenced to 20 years in prison for his crimes. And just like that, he was out of the race. R. Kelly is spending more time in prison after being sentenced federally for child pornography and enticement of minors for sex. He got 20 years in prison today. Interestingly, after R. Kelly was proven guilty, he was canceled by fans everywhere as expected. And guess what? Jay-Z, his best man, decided to cut ties with him as well. Many expected the rapper to defend him and stand beside him during his most difficult time. But Jay-Z didn't want to touch the drama with a 10-foot pole. That said, many fans think that Jay-Z was afraid that he'd be next on the chopping block after R. Kelly and Diddy, which is why he thought distancing himself from all the drama was the better option. Once they're done with Diddy, right? And um, this is going to be going on for some time. To add to the drama, YouTuber Storm Monroe has confirmed the theory of Jay-Z being next in line to be exposed in the industry. Apparently, he's got the same skeletons in his closet, and it's only a matter of time before he gets exposed as well. I mean, I like to forget that he was rolling with R. Kelly, and they was doing a lot of things together. After they are done with Diddy, Jay-Z is up next to be exposed, right? Jay-Z, over the course of his career, and I have to still say allegedly, has done things. And you know Storm Monroe is not wrong here. In case y'all forgot, Jay-Z was famously rumored to have a thing for singer Alia when she was only in her teens. Even Dame Dash confirmed the love triangle between the three. What's more, Aaliyah was first linked to R. Kelly. And when he was facing backlash for dating a singer in her teens, Jay-Z maintained his silence. He stood by his friend, leading many to believe that Jay-Z was cool with that sort of thing. Let's also not forget that Jay-Z was rumored to have a thing for Foxy Brown as well after he released some inappropriate songs with the singer. For your information, Brown was only a teen back then and the bars Jay-Z was spitting were hella explicit. You'd think he would tone it down considering Brown's age but no. And this is where Ice Cube comes in. The rapper has recently opened up, giving his two cents on Jay-Z and people like him. According to him, people like Jay-Z force others to play the same game as him, and when they refuse, they end up sabotaging their careers. What's more, 
Ice Cube called these special groups of control freaks the club of gatekeepers. That pisses them off. Yeah. What club am I talking about? I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of their f***ing club. Well, Ice Cube pulled the curtains on this secret club during his tell-all interview. He also assured fans everywhere that he had no ties with them whatsoever. His morals simply didn't allow it. Some of you may not have realized um, that I'm not part of the club. Ice Cube also talked about how shady people like these are supposed to be held responsible for their crimes. In an interview, the rapper said how certain things that need to be said must be said at the right time. Now fans think that Ice Cube might have major tea on Jay-Z and his friends, which is why he's dropping all these hints. You gotta be willing to fight for your rights and fight for what you believe in. He encouraged victims everywhere who had suffered at the hands of people like Diddy, R. Kelly, and Diddy to emerge from the shadows and speak their truth. And he's kinda right. How else can people expect to change the status quo without stepping up? You have to fight and say what you feel and let the chips fall where they may. Word on the street is that R. Kelly and Ice Cube have had their share of fights. And as for Diddy, well, Ice Cube has never been a fan because he accused the record executive of taking out Tupac. He never exactly named him, but back in the day, Ice Cube had an interview where he revealed that he thinks both Tupac and Biggie were assassinated and many fans think he was secretly taking shots at Diddy. Bearing that in mind, fans are waiting for the ball to drop on Jay-Z because if he really is guilty of all the things people are accusing him of doing, then it's about time the truth came to light. And this is it for today. What do you think of the entire situation? Is there truth to Ice Cube's story? Will Ice Cube be spilling more tea? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you guys in our next video with more updates from the celebrity world.